Hi. In this lesson, we are going to learn a very important inbuilt tool command, which is called Nano. Nano is a tool that allows us to read, modify, and create files so easily, directly from the terminal. You know that, I have created three files in the music folder, in the last lesson, let's read them, using the nano command. We simply, type nano, then, the music directory, then, the file name that we want to read. Let's try, with a small text file, then, press enter, to run the command line. Here, is the nano tool, and here is the file content. We see here, in the bottom, are the options that we can use, through, the nano tool. So, let's try first, the exit option. This, means that, we need to press Control, then, X. It exited the nano tool. Let's open the long text file. We type, nano, music, then, the name of the file. As you see here, the whole content of the file, through the nano tool. We can, modify this file, and type anything here. Here in the options, the write out option, we click, left control, then, O. Oh. To write out the content, of this file to the same file, or, to a new file, if we change the name. Let's try first, with the same file. So, we press left control, then, O. Oh. Here, it says file name to write. It shows here, the path to this file by default. Once we press enter, the modification will be saved. OK. Let's exit, and open one of the small text files. Let's remove this content, and type anything. If we press, on control, then, O to save. Here, we can change the file name, or, we can store it in any other place. And the original copy, will be the same with no change. So, let's save, the content of this file, to a different file, and in a different folder, and change the name of the file. So here, we type, anything. Then, left control, then, O, then, remove this path, and type documents, then, any file name, we can set, in here. Then, we press enter. It asks us to confirm. We press shift on the keyboard, and Y. So, if we went to the Documents folder, we will see a new file created. Then, open the file. We see the content in here. We just copied the content, and created a new file, just using one tool, with few steps. So, with nano and control then O, we can, modify and save the new content, on the same file, or, we can, save on a different file, if we change the file name. And, if we edited the file content and we pressed, the left control button and X to exit, it would ask us, if we want to save the modifications, before we exit. Here, Control button, then W, it will let us find, the required word or text, through the file. So, let's first open the long file. Then, we press the left control button on the keyboard. Then, W. Let's search for, the wood word for example. Then, press enter. It marked for us here, 
the wood word for us. Okay? Here, is the justify option, to make the required content in the file, be justified, and more organized. So, let's try it here. See, it justified this part. Let's try another part. Um, the same now. This, to show the cursor position, with details. So, let's try. As you know, we press the left control button on the keyboard, then C. Okay? Here, is our cursor. Here are details, about the cursor position. So, here, is the line number, which is the cursor at, the column, the number of the character that the cursor is at, and, here, is the percentage. Okay? Here, to go to a line with its number, this, to check the spelling, this, is just to paste a text, this, is to add another file content to this file, it is the opposite of this, the write out one. And, the last option, is the help option. We just press control, then, G. This gives us more info about the options as well. We can simply, create a file just by typing nano. Then press enter. We can enter any file content. Then, control. Then X. We enter a name to the file. So, now we have a new file. That is all about the nano command. If you have any questions please ask in the QS section, and we will happily answer all of your questions.